Okay. So problem statement. Problem. An unknown weight falls through 10 mm on a collar rigidly attached to the, to the lower end of a vertical bar 4 meter long and 600 mm square in section. Put stop. If the maximum instantaneous extension is known to be 2 mm. So what is the corresponding stress and the value of unknown weight? Put stop. Take E is, e is equal to 200 GPA. Okay. So first of all, write down the given data. So height of pulse, it is given H is equal to 10 mm. 10 mm. Then length it is L is equal to it is 4 meter. L is equal to it is 4 meter. So 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 in mm. Okay. The next cross-sectional area it is given. A is equal to cross-sectional area of bar. It is 600 mm square. 600 mm square. Okay. Cross-sectional area of bar it is 600 mm square. Then the change in length. Extension. If the maximum instantaneous extension is to be 2 mm, that is delta L is equal to it is 2 mm. Delta L is equal to it is 2 mm. Change in length is equal to it is 2 mm. Okay. Then calculate stress, stress corresponding unit to calculate stress and applied load P. Okay, unknown load P. Okay. So modulus of elasticity E is equal to it is given. 200 GPA, 200 GPA. Converted is in GPA to Newton per mm square. 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Okay. Newton per mm square. Okay. So this data it is given for calculating the stress and. Okay. So we will calculate here. Okay. So first of all, calculate. So stress in bar, stress in bar, that is in sigma. Okay, we need to calculate sigma. So extension bar, delta L is equal to extension bar, bar. Instantaneous extension bar, it is given. Delta L is equal to, it is sigma, sigma into, sigma into, sigma into L divided by E. Sigma into L divided by E. Sigma into L divided by E. So delta L it is given 2 mm. 2 is equal to 2 is equal to sigma. We need to calculate sigma into. So L it is length it is given 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 any mm. Okay. Any mm divided by divided by E. This value is E. Okay. So E it is. 200 into 10 raised to the power 3. Okay. So from this value, it will be get stress in Newton per mm square. Okay. So 200 into 10 raised to the power, 10 raised to the power 3 will be take left side. So 2 into 200 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 4 into 10 raised to the power 3. Okay. It will be 100 MPa. 100 Newton per mm square or MPa. 100 Newton per mm square or MPa or MPa, okay, mega Pascal or MPa, okay. So now we need to calculate second value of unknown weight. Second question it is value of unknown weight, value, value of unknown weight, unknown weight, weight that is in bracket P. Bracket P. Bracket P. Okay. So we know that stress is equal to stress is equal to for impact loading. Means it is fall at a height. It is P by A. P by A. P by A. P by A plus plus root of plus root of root of root of root of p by a square root of p by a 
So this is going to be stress calculation formula for impact loading. Okay, means it's fall at a particular height. Okay, so sigma it is known that is hundred. Sigma it is hundred. So we will put all this value here. I will write down here. Require this. All this value, sigma is equal to this hundred. Hundred is equal to so p by a, p it is unknown. P it is unknown divided by a it is hundred. But a it is six hundred. A it is cross-sectional area it is six hundred. Six hundred plus 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 root of plus root of Plus root of plus root of in bracket p by p by hundred square p by six hundred p by six hundred p by six hundred square six hundred square plus Plus two phe plus two into p it is unknown h it is ten mm p it is two hundred into ten raised to the power three two hundred into ten raised to the power three this one. divided by divided by A into L. So A it is six hundred, six hundred into L it is four into ten raised to the power six. Four into ten raised to the power six. Put all these values here. So hundred is equal to just simplify this equation. Hundred is equal to hundred is equal to. So P by sixty two will take. Left side minus it is p by p by hundred p by hundred p by hundred p by hundred is equal to root of root of root of root of p by hundred square and like it. P by hundred square. P by hundred square. P by hundred square. Sorry, six hundred square. P by six hundred. Six hundred bracket square. Bracket square plus plus now. So just two into. Ten into two hundred into ten raised to the power p divided by six hundred into four into ten raised to the power p. So it will be get one point one point six seven capital P. Seven capital. P. So now just simplify this equation. So squaring on both sides. Squaring. On both sides, squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides. It is hundred square, hundred square, 
and that's where so I will write on here. Okay. Now querying on both sides. I will write on here. Querying querying on both sides. Both sides. Okay. First of all, so this one it is a minus b. A minus b. What will we get? A minus b. In that case. A minus B. It will be just assume it will be bracket square. So it will be get what A square, A square plus B square plus B square and minus two AB, minus two AB, okay, minus two AB. So solve this value here. A square it is hundred square. Hundred square plus p by hundred square plus p by hundred square plus in bracket p by hundred square p by p by hundred square. Sorry, it is six hundred six hundred square p by. Six hundred square, then minus minus two into eight is hundred into b is p by six hundred p by six hundred p by six hundred six hundred is equal to is equal to is equal to So this one it will be p by hundred square. Sorry, p by six hundred. P by six hundred. P by six hundred. It will be bracket square. Bracket square plus plus plus. One point six seven p. One point six seven p. Okay. So just simplify this equation. One point six seven p. Okay. So now take all p side value one side, and p square value one side, and without p value it will be take one side. Okay. So this one p square and this one p square it will get cancelled. Okay. So this one, p square, this one p square by p square get cancelled. So just simplify. Hundred square, hundred square means how much will be? Hundred square. That is ten into ten to the power three. Ten into ten into ten to the power three. Then minus minus. Two hundred divided by six, six hundred. So it will be one p by three. This one it is p by three, p by three, p by three, p by three is equal to is equal to one point six seven p, one point six seven p. One point six seven p. One point six seven p plus so ten into ten into ten to the power three divided by one seven. So it is four point nine nine. Okay. So just calculate. So ten into ten to the power three is equal to to take. P by C, right side. Okay, one point six seven plus one by C. In terms of P, it will be get P into two. P into two. Okay, so P is equal to it will be how much? P is equal to so ten into ten to the power three divided by 
two. So it will be five hundred newton. Five hundred. Sorry, five thousand newton. Five thousand newton. Okay. Convert it is in newton to kilonewton. So P it is unknown weight. It is five kilonewton. Five kilonewton. So this is question of value of unknown weight. It is five kilonewton, and stress we have calculated it is. Hundred newton per mm. So this is your final answer.